right. So hopefully I did everything right and we're catching YouTube. There we go, it looks like it. I wanna kinda go over to my YouTube channel real quick. A bit hard for me to do from this angle. So, but we got her. So I'm just gonna check out my channel just to make sure because my first stream to YouTube. Yeah, it's showing live stream. So awesome. Okay, so yeah, if you click on it, um, you guys say anything, whatever. I should be able to see the chat. Hopefully, if I pay attention to it, get to use my new pencils today. This one has a 2H lead, and this has an HB lead. And this is the cute little sharpener form. So, and of course, we have Bristol paper because I love Bristol paper. We have a ruler. I always have a T square nearby, even when it's got cobwebs. But I have an electric eraser, a kneadable eraser, a click eraser, and a big block eraser. Just because, you know, everybody needs to be erased sometime. Oh, we all got to get erased. No. So, what I'm going to draw, have no glue yet. <clears throat> the first thing is, I always have a big piece of paper underneath. And I usually, usually only draw in about two or three sheets. I just grabbed a few more. That way, in case I decide I want to change my concept, I can very easily um so what am i gonna do i think what we're gonna do is like a little cliff here come over that here i'm gonna lead this actually i want the cliff a little bit closer i want the cliff about right here yeah that'll look all right take that eatable and just Get rid of that line. And normally I use regular pencils, but these are lead holders and it lets me change the lead. It also lets me get enough lead out. And edging of this lead is real smooth. It goes on real smooth. It erases really easily. Um, and they're Mars, they're Staedtler's Mars Technico. Yeah, Technico. So I think I'm gonna have a cliff here. And the cliff is like we're on the back side. And I wanna go ahead and define my light source. So I'm gonna just put a little arrow here real quick. Kinda like this. I want my light source coming from kinda like off to the left, like um uh, like it's about ten thirty, almost eleven o'clock in the morning, and you're looking south. So somewhere around that light frame, that's what I want the light out. Which is why I got the arrow that way and I'm going to kind of shade it just a little bit like that. So I know that's where the shadow should go. Let me interrupt this part with the big old tree limb. So I want to kind of sketch that in. Tree limb coming up. I mean a big old limb too right there. Coming up into the tree. That. Race that out real quick. I have to get my brush. An eraser brush. They're kind of cheap. I'm what? Doxing brush. They're cheap. They're not too expensive on Amazon. So I do want to kind of get that sketched in. tree there bring it in like this and just kind of give it some little life marks then bring it down kind of like it's starting to go towards the roots but not quite we're not at the ground level here so I just want to give the tree a little bit hip there a lot of people don't think you know you can give trees hips it's fine and over here, I want to get some, I think I'm going to do some big, like, leaves. 
like from those uh elephant plants and there's a snake and they come up they do like this number of course they're jagged so you know i kind of want them i don't want to make them all the same i'm gonna show this one bent over to some loose sketching in here if i can actually bend this guy over too kind of make him look a little bit cooler you know just get some of these big leaves here that are interrupting the image and i really want to kind of make it look like they're just being interruptive here so kind of get them sketched in And I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do something kind of cool. Do a few vines up here, like this, bring them down. I want the vines to be twisty, so I, I kind of want my, my arms to go really kind of loose. But I want them thicker on this side. I don't know if I don't want to interrupt this tree just a little bit. Actually, no, I think behind the tree would be better, yeah. Because I want to show some leaves off the tree. And for this, I'm just going to do like this. I'm just going to really just lightly kind of put it in. Maybe a little bit this way. And this way, you know, this vine looks like it's gone behind. And I'll do like some moss off the tree too. Kind of get some of that spaghetti kind of stringy moss. Bring it brown. Get some big lichens. This kind of moss coming over here and growing into it. Like I said, I want to make sure I got my leaves in here. Just going to jaggedify those leaves for a minute. So I can kind of get all this together in my head. <clears throat> Like I said, this stage is kind of a rough, yeah, well, very rough, very loose. And like I said, I want, I want to get these vines in. I want to get a couple of them kind of flipping around the other ones like that. Linking these up. These in here. I'm going to pop one of my favorite things in. I'm going to pop a little mushroom in here. So I'm going to run a little bell mushroom here. Which means I'm obviously going to need some grass or something, but I got kind of this lump I just drew in, so I'm going to make that into a rock. The mushroom's behind the rock. The grasses are still coming out from the mushroom where it's sitting. But we can make this rock look like it's, you know, the grasses are kind of growing around it. And that'll give it some age. There. We're going to need some grasses coming up here. I kind of really lightly sketch all this. Because the whole point here is not to show off how well I can draw grass. It's to show off how the image is going to look represented. So I just kind of want to make a few marks. Because like I said, I want this to be a cliff here. So we need to kind of start with like the cliff points and, and start taking this horizon line jagging and five because a cliff is rocky all cliffs are rocky the high plants going to the edge but they're still essentially very rocky uh, but yeah it looks like YouTube's actually streaming pretty good it's a uh, 10 one yeah one two three three seconds behind that's not bad not bad at all it's a pretty good lag system so we're gonna have some uh, moss coming out of here so look like this big lump like I said, it really doesn't look like a whole lot until we start erasing and start refining really make sure to sweep off my big area 
and don't pay attention to these lines either. <laughs> Any lines you see on this paper are really just there because I was working on something else and I didn't change the paper. I won't change this until it gets really kind of dark. And then I'll get another sheet. It's 11 by 17 comic book crystal, but any 11 by 17 will work because it's this is an A4 paper. This is an A3 paper. So it's a bigger paper and it allows me, like, if I want to do perspective points, I could do them way out here. And then I can do my perspective on the paper. Yeah. And because you can draw the lines and you can kind of make a line mark, you can turn your paper and then you can turn back around and. You, you know, it's kind of helpful. And I've been doing that for like a long, long time. I don't know if it's right, wrong, or indifferent, but all I know is it's something I do. So, like I said, we want to start getting this cliff in. There we go. And it gives us all like, little jags and stuff and stuff to be playing with here at the edge. Now, all we need to do is get. Uh, I can take, yeah, you can take the clip off. I hate these clips at the end of pencils. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but, you know, I'm kind of taller than most guys. Shorter than some, you know, I'm only 5 foot 10. But, the way pencils sit in my hands, these clips rub. And I hate them. So, I just take them off and boom. Now it's comfortable. It'll slide back and forth. I'm happy. Okay, so here we go. Um, what else do we want to do? Um, I think here we should start a city. Kind of. I'm just going to put in some rough, 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 rough shapes. I can either do it like this or I could do something even cooler and I think I'm going to do something even cooler. What I want to do is kind of shadow this cliff with another cliff kind of here. So, be a cliff. I'm not going to worry about perspective. I'm just going to do it straightforward. Like I said, today it's going to use this as another cliff, which is where I originally put my horizontal line. So, yeah, maybe I had something going on in my head. I don't know. Then, you know, I take the city and I put the city back a little bit. And I just start putting these rough shapes in. Just kind of get them in there. I don't like how these pencils work. I don't like how my back's working, but I don't like how these pencils are working. Um, so you guys know I do have um, scoliosis. I have dextroscoliosis, and it's really bad. So my spine comes down and goes like that. <clears throat> so it makes sitting really fun, especially sitting to draw. And if I cut the stream because I say I'm in pain, then that's you guys are gonna have to accept that because. That will be just all I can do. When I'm drawing, I can take breaks normally, you know, but when you're sitting here on a live stream, you just can't get up and walk around for 10 to 15 minutes. You know, if I'm doing this big sketch, I can get up and walk around 10 to 15 minutes, no problem, no issues. So, yeah. Like that, like that. Almost kind of make the city make its own little horizon line here. Really not. And I'm just, like I said, throwing in basic shape, basic blocks. And I'm going to do this all the way kind of across. Which is why I was wanting these vines here. To kind of block this area off so my city is right here. And do this across. I'm going to make some smaller ones. Matter of fact, I'm even going to make it look like it's kind of turning here. And I'm going to do that without 
worrying about perspective or anything. Riley, I am. Hopefully I'm speaking loud enough because I just now thought about it. I'm talking kind of soft. Because I'm a noob. And noobs, we talk soft. So, yeah. We get some city buildings. Um, not a very good representation of a city right now, but it will be. And I've decided against that curve because otherwise I'm going to have to throw perspective lines in and I don't feel like doing I don't want to do that for this drawing. So we're just going to bring these blocks out like this. Go ahead and some basic shapes. Um, I'm going to keep this big little big little kind of jag thing going here. Put some back here. And I don't want it to look modern. That's why I'm not worried about, you know, the squares. I'm kind of doing some rounded tops. Um, I don't want to look like it's a modern city at all. Uh, I want some of these big ones in front, too. Bring it back, bring it back. I do kind of want it going backwards. And now from there, um, gonna get over here and do this. Cause I haven't decided what kind of city this is yet. Um, it could be futuristic. That'd be cool. You know, lost in a jungle and stumble across like this alien future city. That's kind of cool. Um, easily done, but I want to fill this background up too, real quick. This is the size I want the city. So. Again, if you've seen any of my videos, you guys know what this is. Uh, if you've taken my Udemy course, you should know what these are. And next, I want to straighten that one out. So I want to change this angle. I want to change this angle coming in. So we want this big tree here, kind of blocking this area out. And now, to give it a little life, we're going to throw in the cloud. That's a, a quick, easy. And what? Um, what time is it? 20 minutes. This is a nice layout concept sketch. Now that I know where my light's coming in. I know these are vines. Big elephant type leaves. So at this point we want to go ahead and just start adding things. Cleaning things. Um, I'm going to stay with this pencil. We'll move on to the HP when it's ready for it. Um, what I'm doing now is warming this up. I had it kind of near my chest. Uh. You pull these erasers out like this, and it warms them up, and they erase better. Um, a lot of artists will do this before they stream. So when you see um, somebody like uh, David Finch, I've seen him do this. Uh, Robert Marzillo do this too. They'll just reach over and grab it, and they won't tell you they've already warmed that eraser up. And see, once it's warm, it, they're wonderful. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, I buy these by a case. It costs me like 12 bucks for 24 of them. So I'm going to, I'm right handed. So I'm going to work left to right. That's how I'm going to work. So I'm going to start with this vine. And kind of get it really, really sketchy. I'm bringing it around because I want this to be a vine that you see all the way. The hats are coming from. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use these pencils like this. I haven't had to sharpen this yet. and It's kind of an amazing lead. So, it's probably what I'll start sticking with. Normally, I would have had to sharpen twice by now. And because I want this vine a little bit thicker, so I can age it and make it look old and 
and again our sun is going to come up and left so i have to keep that in mind here and this vine is coming down into these big leaves which is why i wanted to know where it was going to actually come to because once i know where this finds out <coughs> Because this is going to be the one that actually gives me the spacing and stuff and the length for the other ones. Once I know where this finds at, I'm pretty good to go. Um, this isn't picking up a lot. Let me see if I can move this camera in closer. I am sorry I didn't realize it wasn't picking up. Maybe that help. Um, so I kick off this light and kick on that light. Yeah, you guys can see a little bit better that way. I can't. You can. Oh, I can't hardly see anything. Uh, and of course, my camera is going to move on me. So let me get this camera straightened out. I do apologize again. There we go. I thought I had it at one point in time. Ready to go. Uh, I need a little bit more light though for me. Now I'm just going to put the phone in. But I need the light right here. I think we can get this one down. Maybe over. Ah, oh, because then it's not getting the light over there. Hmm. No, I'm trying to get it clear. I'm so sorry. I did not realize it was not clear at all. Maybe my backlight over here. Hang on. Oh, that's Maybe that helps out. We can try it. Like I said, I have to have enough light to see, so that's a big issued problem there, too. But I don't want the phone to shadow. And that light gives me a phone shadow. Matter of fact, the other top lights do, too. So, which is why the computer light is right there. Hmm. I have to figure something out. I'll, I'll get it lit up next stream. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. Don't kill me for not seeing anything. But anyway, this is what we've done so far. Uh, like I said, these pencils, they do a really, really great job at this. Um, I'm going to come down and flippity doodles. Kind of get this shaded in, and you can't see what I'm doing. <sighs> I can barely see what I'm doing. I can really barely see what I'm doing. The problem is, I set the light up for me, and I, I forgot to check the video. So, I usually, when I stream to Twitch, I do a test video every time, and I've never streamed to YouTube, so. And I had to change some settings. So we want this part of this vine dark. Which is kind of what I'm doing. Just going to hatch it in. Not going to worry about how even my hatch marks are. What I should probably do is do these in Clip Studio because then I don't have to worry about the lighting. I just have to worry about the mic. <clears throat> but I don't have this set of 
things to my OBS set up for Clip Studio. So anyway, we got our plants. I'm going to start working on them. I'll start doing these like little cutbacks. Uh, find the centers. It's going to be my veins. At least you guys can see my pencil real good. That's all I wanted to do was show you my pencil. Really. I just really, really want to just show off my pencil. So, these are not quite elephant ears. Um, these are just kind of a plant leaf I'm making up as I go. Which, you know, as an artist, you get to do that. You can say, it's my plant, man. People can't argue with you because it's literally your plant. I mean, you're creating it. Somebody tells you your plant doesn't look right, they don't know what they're talking about because it's your plant. No matter how you do your plant. So. I apparently got this a little bit longer on one side than the other. But it's not really going to matter because I've got a fold coming up here. It's going to be like this. It's going to bring the plant over like that. And we're still going to have the little cut in right here. I have this little tip coming around. Still going to have this little tip coming around this way. And we're going to have this cut in. It'll be coming in like this. It's going to look kind of weird because of the way it's folding. It's folding this way and it's folding over. And I didn't really measure these cut-ins, how they should look. I just kind of tied them in. So, and since we curved those, we need to get a big curve on these. But that's the main one that we want to show coming over. And we got this other one here too. And we have another one here. I want to kind of reinforce these real quick. And actually, I don't really like the cut ends. That's what I love about Bristol paper. If I decide I want to redo this a thousand times, erase it, redraw it, I can't. So, what I'm going to do is just pull that over. I'm going to fold this over like this. The plan is going to be folded here. So not only are we going to get the top of this leaf folding over, we'll see the bottom of it too. That'll all be in shade. And we're going to do the same thing here. And this, we'll pretend this is like a big, big grass blade. So then, let me pop this off, you know. The veins coming off. Um, the little hairs on the side. Because some grasses are fuzzy, some aren't. Uh, it's up to you. It's your plant. So, I just decided um, since I didn't have a reference for an elephant leaf or an elephant ear plant. That I was going to change these to grasses. And I can later on if I decide to change them back to big leaves. And the grasses are all folding. This, like there's something there pushing them over. And we could give a hint at that something right here. Which is what I'm going to do. Just uh, make a few marks. We'll give a hint there's a rock here and it, it just pulled these guys over and they haven't ever forgiven that rock of that. So these fold in. And you can play with these folds. And no, this isn't final drafts. This is very rough still. But I need to know where this is going to be coming in at. 
we know this is all going to have lots of shadow that's going to be lots of shadow there's going to be lots of shadow here there's going to be lots of overrun shadows um on this rock there's definitely going to be a lot of shadow here uh, we're going to have an incredible amount of shadow here so when we get done with it there's going to be a whole lot of shadows to it and again i do apologize that you guys couldn't see but I didn't realize my lighting sources were that bad so i'm really gonna have to work on that and of course and again that takes money that i don't have because all my money goes to these things i mean it's not like they're expensive but the the pen, the lead holder was eight dollars and the leads themselves for a box of 12 it's like eight nine they're not that expensive. The paper is $15 for a ream. It's a good thick paper. So. This round. I don't know if working on a light board would help. Because I'm going to push the light through. make it easier for you guys to see what I'm doing right here I'm gonna do a little draw through because I can erase that draw through that's not a big issue so by having a couple of lines that are braided it kind of leads credence to jungle type environment. Um, I also have. Yeah, because I can assemble it there. So. Also, we can do a few stray vines coming out. Um, they're just kind of swerving. Because I'm kind of changing up the way the original ones were. In here. I know a lot of people would have went through and just started erasing. And, but, ooh. but we have a wind too. So that's why these guys here are folded over. So you can kind of see that this area is kind of windy. It, it, it's been pushing on these vines. It's pushed on the tree. We're going to, you know, I'm going to do the leaves and stuff. So. I want to give credence to kind of that that push. I want this find in here. So I want to bring it in off the page. And I'm, I want to start bringing these vines in a length in them. Little by little. In fact, I'm even going to give this one a second one here. And give it more viney look. Maybe even a third one coming around the front. And that'll really make it look like a vine. Uh, we already know our light sources, so I can erase that out. Let me get rid of that guy. And then I want to get a vine in here. Kind of coming down. Another one right beside it. A little bit deeper. Now I can see I didn't get these vines deep enough. So I can go ahead and just extend them down. And because I didn't get that one deep enough. I can actually bring that vine back around. Like that. Make them recross with a big hole. Which kind of looks cool. I mean it, it gives a. A sense of whoa and because I kind of want this I want this area shown um, even though that's not correct in composition I will do it there and darken that so 
So what I'm going to do is make just some like hang downs between these. Kind of all kind of going in maybe different directions a little bit. So this is going to let me run some really, really cool shadows through here. And then I'll leave these little places open that's not shadowed. But like here, um, what's going to happen is it's going to let me shadow through here and make this one stand out, which is what I want to do. I don't know if I get it done today, but we'll get her done. God, I love these pencils. I may not get it done on stream, but I will get it done. It's KVAMP1 on Twitter, KVAMP1 on Instagram, fan base, minus slash KVAMP, um, KEI underscore VAMP for Twitch, which I probably, I don't know. I'm liking how YouTube's streaming. Um, there's not a lot of lag, so uh, I'm, I'm really liking that. YouTube may have just for that simple thing because I get nobody watching me on or chatting on uh, what you call it, Twitch. So that that one simple thing with YouTube, maybe what just sends me me over to them. Okay, so we got that kind of in. What we need to do is get these cliffs in too. Kind of get them sketched in you know for the longest time I fought against these type of pencils I'm like I'm never going to get one of those I like regular wood pencils um, comic book artists use these all the time a lot of manga artists use them and I'm like I don't see the sense in them I can get a, a regular wood pencil cheaper uh Nah, yeah, I sit there and lied to myself for years. I should have had one of these years ago, and my art would have been much better by now. These are smooth. This pencil is just looking awesome, to be honest with you. It really is. I'm loving this pencil. I'm loving these leads. So again, I'm just kind of building this. I want the shadows and darts. I'm not really concerned about how this is going to look because this is nowhere near final. When I pick that pencil up, then we'll start doing the deep erases um, and start really getting the finals in. Right now, I just kind of want to make some marks to kind of know where I want things, um, get the things that are in my head out. There's a lot of things in my head, man, you don't want to know about, trust me. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm really digging this. Well, I think I'm going to make that into kind of an alien type city. Kind of like that concept, going through the jungle and find a... But I'm going to make it kind of like a ruined one, like it, some they haven't lived there in a while. And next stream, I will use clip paint, so we won't have to worry about the lighting. I'm just not going to do the lighting anymore. I'm just, I had it set to where I could use it and having to move it for the stream. And it just, I don't have the money to get the really expensive lighting that I need. Plus, that it costs a lot of electricity that I can't afford either. So, can barely afford my art supplies. But as long as those things are covered, I, I'm going to be happy, to be honest with you.
so yeah we got some rocks jetting up there and now we got our base escape here which like i said now we can go through kind of figure out how we want these plants to look how dense we want it in here and I'm going to guess, since we're in the jungle, we're going to want this kind of dense. Really don't have to be a jungle. <laughs> I'm sorry, you never have to cough unless you're on stream. Ever. I can go all month without coughing. Hey, three seconds of watch time. Woo. I can go all month without coughing. As soon as I hit up a stream, cough, sneeze gas you name it this as soon as you start streaming and i just realized i'm working area the camera wasn't picking up i am sorry so we'll just scoot this over but yeah these pencils god i wish i would have got them a long time ago i really do alexa this is 2h it's not scratching the paper. Feels good in the hand or light. Uh, just kind of getting this sketched in. the shapes and the forms where I want them kind of get some big grasses over here too because that's what we'd see coming out of here And like I said, I like to bend the grass with the weight. You know, big tall grasses, they start bending over. So, because they start getting heavy at the end, so they start bending over. And a lot of times they'll bend to get more light too. So, like I said, we got these. Kind of looks like a hand coming across, but it's not what it is. And we can make a couple more of these like little filled rocks in here. So we can stop the tall grasses here because we can say, hey, boom, grass, boom, vines, boom, you got trees. You don't have to continue the same level of vegetation because in nature, vegetation varies all the time. It, it really does. Seed pot up there. In fact, uh, pasture my horses run on. Yeah, that's completely varied. <laughs> It'll go from like tall grass into a valley of sweet little grasses. Uh, they'll have these big soapbox weeds that have these square tops on them, actually. It looks like uh, bars of soap. That's why we call them soapbox weeds. I'm not really sure what the name of the weed actually is, but that's what we call them out here in Kansas. So. But yeah, they, they grow really tall and they get like these little soap boxes and little thorns and stuff on the side and so a lot of times you'll come across a sparse or dense vegetation and all of a sudden boom it'll be very sparse stuff like that and especially near a cliff edge it, the vegetation will start going really really sparse um, and I could kind of build this in with like a bush here too but don't really see the sense of it um just kind of have this rock here these here matter of fact this will look better if i do one like this and i get rid of that that becomes more understandable that it's like splayed out well now we can uh we could really instead of making that a rock 
See, this is what I love about the sketch phase of it. So we can just come around, round that off, get a bunch of circles. Now we got this like huge flower. And then instead of leaves, we have petals that we can play with. So that's what I love about the sketch phase is we can get rid of some of this, these lines here, and we can really, really change this. Um, like I said, this is a big petal now. I can bring it out around like that. And then I have that one. I can go ahead and keep it coming around. And like I said, it's a good idea to warm these. Nobody's chatting, but that's okay. Um, I may have to do an edit of this video from when I started, uh, you know, making it where you can see stuff. So yeah, now we have a, the, this big giant mammoth flower thing here. That's coming around like that. Like I said, the concept of it of an image is actually the funnest part of it to me. This is where I start seeing and I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, that'd be cool if I did it this way instead, and I can just boom change it. Um, if need be, I can actually either scan this and run it through Clip Studio or put it on a light board and redraw it if I want. Which that actually may happen. Because I've changed this, uh, I may have erased too much. Um, you can only erase, no matter how thick the paper is, you're only going to be able to erase so many times. So, like I said, we got these mountains back here. I'm going to start working on them. Get shadowed up. I'm not going to go too overly detailed because I want them to be background backgrounds. So, I may put just a tiny bit of detail to them, but it's not going to be too, too overly. It'll be just enough to separate them. Maybe jag it up like that. Take that one. Yeah, we want, we want to get some jags on there. And maybe take the tops and do it like this. I well, we can't with that one, but kind of, you know, the snow cap line there. To kind of show they're farther back. This one, yeah, we can put another thingy here. But still, we're going to have this line here for the snow cap. You could have major plains on a mountain, uh, especially a Rocky Mountain. All rocks have like these big major plains to them. All you have to do is be able to find those. Once you find those, you're good to go. And you can start adding stuff to them and uh, take them away. I do show how I kind of did do that on my YouTube video, but more into my own uh, Udemy video. Okay, now we got these kind of leaves set up. I do want to go through and jag this a bit more. Because I'm not going to do like every little leaf that's going to be in here. But it'll be like, you know, around like that. No, we're not going to do every single one. What we're going to do is hint at them. Kind of like you would do in a, any kind of oil painting or whatnot. You can give a small hint. Matter of fact, uh, we're going to give a hint of this cloud. We're going to change it up. 
bring it back around behind that mountain and behind that mountain. Then you get this cloud here, and that's all we're going to have is just those two. So, but I, I just want to kind of give a hint at the leaves. Because most of this is going to be kind of shadowed, and I'm just going to leave some white areas to uh, indicate new leaves. And here, definitely, this is really going to be really heavy shadow. We just want to make sure we're kind of getting these leaf outlines. So, notice how I'm not doing like this jag number. I'm just kind of going in and just kind of creating what I feel would be where the leaves are sticking out. Like I said, again, this is still the concept on it. I don't like the vine on this side, so we're going to just leave that off. I did like the little hanging moss, so. Because the hanging moss kind of gives the, the tree some personality. So we'll continue with the hanging moss here. It's going to go down, you know, with gravity. Gravity is going to draw it down. It's going to come straight down. It's... But the hanging mosses don't get a choice of which way they grow when they start hanging off. Um, they go to gravitational. Gravitational and mouse. So we have the mass center here. And they also hang from the back. So we need to make sure we show that and make sure that's completely shadowed. Because you're not going to see that too much. You'll just see a, like a shadow of it. And we want to continue to bring this tree down. Make sure we get the stream line scope in. Two, because this is actually not where it's going to catch light. It's going to catch light in the center. So right now I'm just kind of marking out where that shadow is going to come off at. Because right here it's going to catch light. It's going to catch light all down here. All of this is going to catch light. So. I'm going to start shadowing backwards like this. Um, this is actually this part of the trunk where the tree is going to catch light also. Let me change up this tree a little bit. But I'm going to change it even more. And get rid of that. Because I want the tree to come up here. But we have this moss here too but we want to make sure we get in oh uh, we got the moss here and it needs to go with the direction of the tree and we want to make sure we separate out this big lichen type thing and it's going to have a big shadow here but we also want to make sure we start getting some of the divisions of the tree like it's going to divide up here again into those branches Bring that down. Uh, we're going to have this area of this branch is going to catch light. This is going to catch light. So I'm just marking off what is not going to be catching light too terribly much. And we know most of this back here is going to be shadowed because of the way the light's going to catch it. And because of the way we're looking at it. Wow, almost an hour. It's not bad. It's starting to take shape. Like I said, I had no clue before I started this stream what I was going to draw. Kind of made it up as I went along. And yeah, I think I, I will make this to an alien city. So I'll start drawing little things in that uh, make it maybe look like something. I don't know. I don't know what kind of alien. Uh, and uh, big window here. So 
something something there don't know don't know don't know what kind of aliens these are or what kind of aliens they were because it was a war so we're gonna do some of these and uh, i'm gonna wrap that out just trying to get an idea in to how it may the structures may look and i i know i kind of want them rounded now so i'm gonna start with the interfering roofs so i can round them around Um, we know in doorways over here, maybe the windows that we can do rounded windows. We can round that out. And that way I can round that out. And we can set for a Halloween window here. So now we know we, we've got some aliens that like rounded things. Which is fine. I mean, not everything's going to be square and sci-fi looking. Do you get, like, you know, maybe Hobbit and aliens. Who knows? You don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. So, make this building that. We have no idea what the building is. So, do something here. Pop something a little bit here, maybe. But we do want to keep the architecture kind of, we're using squares, we want to stay with squares, we're using rounds, we want to stay with rounds. So, you know, rounded buildings have round, are going to have rounded windows. They're also going to have, make sure the door frames are going to be rounded. Uh, so there's going to be lots of, of round stuff to it. Um. Yeah, and that's kind of what I'm, I'm going to do here. Off, go down. And you get to have fun with, you know, kind of these round objects. Kind of make them look any way you want. If you're kind of trying to do what I'm doing, but I have no idea what I'm doing. So don't try to do what I'm doing. If you're even paying attention, probably nobody's paying attention, but... That's okay. That's okay. I don't care. I'm, I'm kind of getting into this. I like this rounded thing. I didn't think about it. I noticed I drew everything in basic squares. So I wasn't thinking about rounds. Um, the shapes I did draw around, I was just kind of thinking about, you know, maybe like top of church or something, you know, um, cathedrals where they're kind of roundish. That's all I was thinking about. I wasn't thinking about maybe, you know, maybe the aliens are rounded. Um, so we could have a little rounded fun. Or, you know, maybe the aliens are like really tall and thin. Maybe they'll be from a um, Voltron. So maybe they just like rounded things. Maybe they think uh, round is beautiful. So now I can kind of get everything drawn in like I wanted it. You know, that kind of looks like a rock, but we can work on it and put a top to it. and boom. Put a couple tops to it. And we can get over here and start throwing some grass in there. We can carry the city around. We want to carry the city all the way over. So all the way over we go. Woohoo! And like I said, we want to Open some grass and stuff here. Uh, 
kind of to show, you know, that this is kind of starting to overgrow, so. And I'm just making some light grass marks. Um, because we can start doing, like, vine running up on these. Like little flowers coming off. Start cutting into the buildings. Even the lights on that side are still part of that building's missing. Like this window, we could just break it. And darken it in, you know, little stuff like that. Where it's not been repaired, not that it's falling down, just not repaired, not kept up. Uh, you can show grasses coming up in here. Even though it's not the best sample. Again, this is still kind of a sketch. I haven't gone through and erased and started detailing. So, <laughs> doing the sketch before the render lets you... You know, change stuff, add stuff, fill stuff around. And it's also a very good idea. Because I don't have to, when I go to render, I know what, I know how the grass I, I want to go there is going to look. So I don't have to do every piece. I just need to kind of symbolize it. You know, just kind of make it look like that's kind of how, where I want it at. And then, you know, I can get some grass growing off these edges. Get it over here. And then when I erase or scan in to do it digitally, I have these marks where I want things. And how big I want them and how bold I want them. And in fact, I, you know, really easy to do a digital painting off of this. You know, and I can come through here with this tree and say, hey, this is how I want the board to look. And that way, when I do it digitally, I've got the bark pattern I want. Um, I've got the depth into the tree I want because we know this is going to have to be like thick because in bold, because it's right here. So yeah, I can come through here real quick. Make a few lines. And I could literally just take this straight into software from this point. Um, I'm not going to. I, I will finish this up. I'm just not going to finish it up on stream. Um, that kid's actually starting to bother me. Usually, like I said, I sit and I draw for 10 to 20 minutes. Then I get up and move around for about five, you know, 5 to 10 minutes. And that eases the pain off my back. It keeps it from aching. And like I said, I do have scoliosis, so I can't just sit and just work on a drawing all the way through. But to combat that, I will do these sketches as fast as I can. Um, get things in there, get marks in there like I want them. And that way when I come back to it, I know what I was working on. There's no me getting a got lost I, I didn't remember what I was doing so this way everything is kind of cool I know where my shadows are I know what I want to do here um, I like to, it, it makes a cool like little project here it really does And not everything has to be filled for it to be an understandable sketch. You can already tell as I'm as I'm working on these buildings that you know they're not in repair. And I don't have to do every single one of them. I could. But I don't need to. Like these are too even. So
Gonna make that like it's a second floor to that one. This is starting to look suspiciously like that one video game. Yep, yep. Kind of suspicious. I'm getting sussed here. But yeah, it's not difficult to do this. It's like I said, I just started out with a bunch of basic shapes. And I can have fun with it. Um, so we got some antenna that broke here. And same here. So yeah, it's just things you can do. Um, it's not anything complicated, not anything really complex. It will be when it's done, but to sketch it, get it prepared for how you want it to look. No, it, it's not that complicated. A lot of people overcomplicate this. And like I said, I'm just going to darken in. Like I said before, we know this is all going to get shadowed. I just want to kind of darken this in. Now the one thing I am going to do before I stop and before I get up, because I, I really need to move around, I'm starting to hurt. Is I am going to make something shadowed so I know how I want the shadows. And I mean this boy right here. Okay. Right there. Right there. Right there. So I know this is gonna be the dark shadows. And by knowing how the crotch chests are done and why they're done. Um, and let me do another thing real quick so I can really show you. I'm, I'm going to do it on this guy. Okay. My rim is going to, rim light is going to come here. Okay. This is going to catch the most light. The next thing that's going to catch the light is right here. And I'm just going to do that one more time here. That's going to make the darkest part. This, I'll hatch this way. I'll hatch all of it the same way. Okay. The second part, I'm going to come back with another hatch from a different direction. And I'll continue that to the dark part. And on the dark part here, I'm going to actually add one more line of hatch. And that lets me see the graduation that I want to get in there. So each one of these is a different gradient from dark to light. Or from light to dark. Um... You know, this should come down like that. But this line, you can call it, I call it Terminator line. This is wide root here. This lets me know this is where the light terminates. And it starts to get darker, darker, and bolder. So this is where we use thicker lines, heavier shadows, more lines, you know, whatever. And naturally, like I said, all of these are going to, have this on the bottom because of where light's coming from and then hatch across hatch down and that tells me everything and I can just fill it in black it doesn't matter I can say fill that in black it's it's all cool but I've got to in the stream like I said I, I'm hurting um I try to do these about once a week on a, what's today, Thursday? About once a week on the Thursdays. Um, by next Thursday, I'll have this tightened up a little bit. Actually, I'll have it tightened up way before next Thursday. Just want to check out this 2B pencil <laughs> or this HP lead before I get out of here. But I'm going to get this. Thing you all flip it first. There we go. Oops. 
hit take off from the eraser. And that's what, nope, not an eraser in. Hmm. Yeah, well. So, I'm gonna get some of this light out. I want to see what this HB looks like compared to the 2H, because this is all done at 2H. Um, it's a two hardness. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, that HB. Let's get on there. It really does. HB looks really good. Really tightened. That's as dark as some of my TBs, and I know this is an HB because I changed the light out in this pencil. So yeah, that, that puts on a really nice dark line. There we go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're going to have to get some, before I do too many, many more traditional art things, we're really going to have to do something about lighting. I had it figured out when I did my Udemy course, and um, part of it's in OBS. Uh, because for some reason, the last OBS update, it reset all my settings. It shouldn't have, but it did, so. But I'm not going to blame OBS for bad lighting. It's only picking up what I'm sending to it. So, but I had to redo my settings too, so I didn't get to think about the lighting too much. I have some more lights I'll try to get plugged in and see what they can do. I'm hurting, but I haven't got to. Man, I, I love these pencils. Addicted to art. Holy cow. Holy cow, I'm loving these. These are... I should have started using these years ago. Seriously. I don't really think I could stop. I'm trying to stop. I'm, I'm telling myself I'm, I'm hurting. I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm about to cry because I'm in pain, but wow, yeah, I'm loving these pencils. I think you guys can hear my voice. You know, it's I'm in pain. It's not not even playing with that. There's a lot of pain going on. Take this cloud up. Yeah, these are nice. All the money I spent on all my other pencils, I could have just bought these two. And been happy. I don't really like that cloud, but... Wow. Wow. I start getting these leaves in this is gonna look nice too Yeah, these things are addictive. These pencils kind of make you want to draw. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well. Ooh, average watch time. Playback's three? Are you guys playing that back? Say something in chat. Oh yeah, I'm fixing to close this down. Mm 
damn, there's, there's a lot of control on this lead though. Really, 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 really. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going to close the stream. My back is screaming. Well, thank you for joining me. Um, hope I didn't bore you too much. I, I know I can get that way. It's almost impossible. I've never sharpened this pencil the entire thing. And I had this cute little sharpener. It's, it, it's really cute. It's like a little baby sharpener, but... Yeah, see the camera's pointed really weirdly. So yeah, it's really cute. It's like a little trash can with a sharpener, but I haven't had to sharpen it. I did a whole picture without sharpening. I, I, I made the whole entire concept without ever sharpening the pencil. And that's, to me, that's just flipping awesome, honestly. But yeah, I'm going to close the stream. I'm going to keep drawing and I need to move around. It's like I said, it's one of my weaknesses. It's something I got to deal with medically. Um, but yeah, we're going to start doing a every Thursday night stream. If I can get a doctor to listen to me on it, they're like, well, you should be able to sit. It shouldn't hurt you. Well, it does hurt, Doc. I'm sorry. So... It's so I can get a doctor to listen to me. Or I can sit longer without the pain. Or somebody's got a recommendation that helps with scoliosis. Yeah. But, like I said, I'm going to call this for tonight. I may use this and redraw it next week. Um, I don't know. I really like the concept of like a huge flower. And everything pushes back away from it. I, I really just like that concept. I mean, the flower does need to obviously be redone because these petals are in wrong. But I can correct that. If I had thought about that being a flower in the first place. And of course, these are going to be really thick and really like an in-your-face grasses. And again, there we go. Every time I pick up the pencil, I'm going to draw with it. So, like I said, it's, to me, it's been a long stream. I'm going to try, hopefully I can get my endurance built back up. And we can do longer streams, but like I said, I may try to redraw this next week since I know what I want to do now. I had no clue when I sat down to draw to date what I was going to do. So, until, I'm going to do... Minimum one stream a week. That's going to be a minimum. So right now we're going to count on Thursdays at about 9 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Because that's what time zone I'm on. So about 9 o'clock Central, that's when we'll start our stream on Thursdays. If I can increase it up to two days a week, I will. If not, I won't. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to try to shoot for is Thursdays, 9 o'clock Central. I'm out of here. You guys have a good day and thank you for watching.